You may have noticed that after continued use of your alum block, it develops a rough or less than ideal surface to rub across your face. What's that all about? In this video, we're going to look at some useful alum hacks. Let's take a quick look at why this rough stuff occurs and what you can do to alleviate the problem. It's all to do with chemistry and physics. This rough surfaced formation occurs because as the wet alum block dries, some of the liquid water will evaporate from the surface. Now, because there's less liquid water to hold the dissolved alum, some of the alum particles must come out of the solution as a solid. Now, the faster this happens, the more chance the bits of alum will arrange themselves in a pattern to grow these well-shaped crystals or those rough bits you feel. So, how do we fix this rough surface problem? Well, there are three solutions that I use and these work well for me. Number one, the use of hot water with alum means that it will evaporate quickly. That's not good. That will result in the formation of small crystals, remember. So I suggest you only use cold water when using alum. Number two, minimize the surface area contact while drying, which will prevent rapid evaporation. That means that standing it either on its end or across the container as shown here. And finally, if you must, and I don't find it necessary, pat dry with a towel and allow it to air dry. Now here's what mine looks like after approximately seven months of use. There is another peculiarity you may have noticed. Now because alum is a crystal, after some time you may find this crystal residue in its case. Don't throw it out. It can be used as a powder to aid with slippery razor handles. Simply dip your fingers into it, rinse and voila! Of course you can just use the alum block for that as well. Now if all of this sounds completely alien to you or you've never used alum before, I'll link to an earlier video and all things alum in the comments. Any questions, queries or comments, please feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.